Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Good morning everyone, it is currently Wednesday morning, and I didn't anticipate it correctly, or didn't read correctly when I was online yesterday before my walk, and yeah, actually, to be honest, the video has gone this morning, by the time that went up, Tier 3 is coming to the whole of London. So if you're in a London bar, it would have been great to London. <coughs> we are now all in Tier 3. Because Tier 3 is what this has to in. Now, Tier 3 is the highest tier. And that means you can't meet anyone at all. It's very hard to meet people. Like you can't meet in so many outdoor venues. And tier two, you could meet in outdoor venues as long as it's open air. But now you can't. You can't meet. There's like maybe a few, very select few. Like maybe parts and stuff, and then you can meet at. But since they're free, that's what you can do. It's very uh, limited, and I don't even know why because I don't know where they're testing these or where they're getting these cases from. The evidence isn't really clear. They don't really, with the evidence they've got, we don't know where they, what evidence it is. Because where are these cases are they all around the whole of London, the Great London area? Or are they just in selected places in the London area and they say, oh, we'll just put everyone in it? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know if you know of certain places. Some places, like apparently my friend told me, part of it's in tier 2 and part of it's in tier 3. Which, that doesn't really make much sense. But, Greater London and London is a different thing. You can have different places in different tiers. Like, London is a big place, don't get me wrong, the London Bar is all London, Greater London, it's a very big place. But the thing is, you could actually easily touch it off. As long as you don't go in and out of your own bar, you're in. Then that bar might be able to stay in a certain tier compared to other bars. Now some people do, which is something which is down the ground to other bars. The highest tier, tier three. It's just like lockdown pretty much. Well, what do you think about it? Isolation. Now, you can't do this. It's not right. Either. It's isolating people from one another. Now, it's just not right to do that because then you're just taking away a lot of people's, you know, social You need socialising. Even though this is going on, they're still doing socialising. It's not very easy. Like, even when people work in stores, some people may come to the store and, be the, and they ask the only thing to social on the whole day because that's all they can get. Like, because people are lonely, like, in this home we can go out and see anyone. Loneliness was there still, but some people they had a means of doing something to combat that. And we can do whatever we like, but now, because it's like you know, it's not like it's that's going to be a When you put someone, when you have people in a higher tier, or high, or high restrictions, not let them see anyone, unless it's very sexual circumstances, it's like you are seeing people, and then loneliness kicks in. And people who are lonely, who live on their own, or don't really want to talk to, that loneliness. of mental problems and then those mental problems can have physical effects and you don't want that. Like I don't I don't have the problem I do have a problem with that just to be honest I like to meet people but I'm not in the same position because I find a way but social contact is okay but it's not the best for me. I really prefer physical meeting but yeah doesn't always happen. So yeah, just plodding along at the moment. 
can't wait for this to be over, but as far as I'm aware, it's not going to happen anytime soon because they develop a vaccine, but they don't develop one that's you can be to do stupid. You'd have to develop one that means if you get to minus 70 degrees Celsius, which is not easy to attain anyway. <coughs> Some places can do it, but they have the certain facilities, but that's the worst thing you could possibly do, but then the people who are in are near in those who have the facilities of doing it, then hopefully that vaccine will get to those people, they can be vaccinated and they can, uh, you know, survive and be, become safe. And then once that area is done, hopefully they can, the other vaccine soon doesn't need those low temperatures, but has a temperature which doesn't have to be so low, it can be, you know, fit in the fridge or something, then that would be better so that every single place that like all GPs and everything can get it given to them so they can actually start giving they can get, either people can call for it, they can basically tell people it's test free or whatever the vaccine's free uh in the appointment and when you need to get the vaccine we do the jab and then we need another one later on. So once we get that done hopefully we'll all be on mutant at some point and then we can get back to whatever normal we're gonna have after this whole bloody thing has ended. Because I just want to get back to normal because I've had enough of it already. It's been over, it's basically been a year, almost. So it's three more months and we've all had a year. Oh bloody this thing. Thing is, I don't think we act fast enough and we don't, because the thing is, many countries hide things on this so they hide it and you don't notice until they actually eventually, when it eventually it gets out and when it gets out it's not we don't always act straight away like we only act when it goes to a certain point like and it's just, it's just too much so yeah I'm in tier 3 now whole London is which is a lot of people which people are going to hate that close everything down anyway I'm going to end this video here, I know this is a bit of a low video, but yeah, hope you enjoy your day, it's going to rain a bit later, so that's why I'm now, I'm not going to have it, but I will be trying to finish my walk a lot earlier, because it's going to rain later, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day as you can in tier 3, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get out of this as soon as possible and get back to normal, whatever normal, this is it, bye.